Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice Olympiad equations? We have k multiplied by k plus k plus k equals k multiplied by k multiplied by k. So we need all the values of k that satisfy this and let's see how we can solve it. So the first thing we are going to put here is, so let's say we have uh, a solution like this. Then, so we add k plus k plus k together. So here we have 3k equals, so when we multiply k by k by k, so a is k raised to the power of 3. And then, so if I take this one here, we are going to have 0 equals, so it's coming here, we have k raised to the power 3 minus 3k. And let's try and rewrite this thing properly as k to the power of 3 minus 3k equals equals 0. Then, so here is a cubic equation. We need three answers to this. So what I will do here is, suppose I factor out k from here. So we have this as k into bracket of, so we divide this one by k, we have k raised to power 2 minus and we divide this one by k, we have 3 equals 0. So let's try and note that suppose we have a multiplied by b equals to 0. So this expression means our a equals to 0 or we can have our, our b equals 0. <coughs> so then we have our k here equals to zero, so which is one of the solution here. Or we can still have our k raised to the power two minus three equals equals zero. So after having this, then we need to provide solution to this uh, k here, as this has been reduced to quadratic. Then what we do here is. Suppose I write this thing as k squared minus square root of 3 squared equals 0. So this is the same thing as 3 because this square and square root can suit each other. And from this expression, suppose you have a squared minus b squared. So this equals a plus b multiply by a minus b then we are going to apply it here so we have the value of k here which is our, our k is a and our b is root 3 so when we substitute it here we have this as k plus root 3 and also we have k minus root 3 equals equals zero so in the next step we are going to let this equals to zero according to the rule of a b equals to zero i applied above so therefore we have k plus root three equals zero or we have k minus root three equals zero so therefore from here we are going to have the value of k equals minus root 3 and also we have k equals root 3. So I've gotten three answers. So k equals to 0 is still part of the solution here. And let's try and verify if all these truly really equal because there are three solutions. I want to check if all these solutions satisfy the given equation. So to check, we are going to recall that. So from the given problem, we have k plus k plus k equals k multiplied by k multiplied by k. So let's say at k equals to 0. So we know that here we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 0. 
So the left hand side equals to right hand side. So when the, we add d0 and multiply d0 together, it means s equals to k equals to 0. Satisfy this problem. And also uh, for the other part, let's say we have our k equals to root 3. So when we try and replace it, we have root 3 plus root 3 plus root 3. So equals root 3 multiplied by root 3 multiplied by root 3. So here when we add all this together, so it becomes 3 root 3 equals to so let's say we multiply root 3 and root 3 together so this becomes 3 then multiply by root 3 so at these two sides we have 3 root 3 equals to 3 root 3 it means this also valid for it and if we check for the last one truly is going to be valid so we get negative for that so this is how to solve this problem i hope you learned something thanks for watching and if you are new here to this channel please do have to subscribe Turn on the notification bell for more videos. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.